Seven men went on to search for the Garden of Eden by finding clues from TV shows and local museums and libraries. They decided the Garden of Eden is located near the Tigris and Euphrates River. The seven men head to this location where they meet a scout and hunter in a small village where the Garden of Eden could be located. He tells the men he knows the area very well. The scout and middle-aged Indian man who carries a staff and a gun to what I want. Wild Animal says he knows where the Garden of Eden is and could tell the men its location if they are worthy and for a small fee. But only if they are worthy. The men think about it. One man says, you mean to tell me you will only give the location to the ones you seem worthy? The scout says, only the ones who are worthy. The men say they will think about it. That night, as the scout sleeps in his tent, several of the men sneak into the tent, remove his hunting gun and stick before putting a knife to his throat before pointing a knife to his throat and pointing a gun to his side. They tell him him to tell them the location of the garden and to take them there. The scout grudgingly shouts, Okay, but you will not like it. He takes the men outside his tent outside the village through a trail in the into the woods, they walk for about six miles with nothing but a few fast lights and their guns. The gun pointed at them. The gun pointed at the man's side is covered by one of the of the men's claws from their clothing. If he screams for help, the man said he will shoot him. The scout leads them to a small empty area in the woods, and then they see it in the distance, forty feet away from them, a large shiny golden gate. The scout says, here we are, the doorway to the Garden of Eden. The scout tells him only the worthy. One of them approach the gate, but before he can get it, a man in a white robe appears in front of him and the gate. The man in the white robe asks, are you worthy to enter the Garden of Eden? One of the seven men shouts, yes, and fires his gun at the man in the white robe. The bullet flies right through the man in the white robe, not even skating him. The man in the white robe does something unfathomable next. He spreads his large white wings showing him to be some sort of angel-like creature. He then pulls out a spinning sword from a belt on his torso, throwing it at the seven men, slicing off each of their heads. The last one tries to run, but the spinning sword chases him for a few meters before catching him, catching him and slicing off his head. Then, the sword returns back to the man in the white robe. The scout begins to walk back to the village. He thinks to himself, these men wanted, wanted me to take them to the location of the Garden of Eden. Looks like they got their way.